And now for question number two from um, Statistics 1, S1, January 2019. Um, here we have a question about discrete random variables. It says the discrete random variable X has the following probability distribution. Okay, and it says find the expected value of X. Okay, now at first sight you might think, hold on, how are we going to do this? We have these unknown items here and how is it? we can find the expected value of x when it's going to be the product of these all added together well it will work out okay even though it seems at first sight it might not work out it will work out because we see that the b is going to be multiplied by zero which is going to disappear and the a's are both multiplied by well this a is multiplied by minus one and this by plus one so they will cancel out anyway Okay, so if you look at the expected value of x, which I'll write over here, although I'm supposed to really write it down there, but so we can see what's happening. You've got minus 2 times 0 0.15, and then you're going to have plus minus 1 times a, and plus 0 times b, plus 1 times a, plus 3 times 0 0.4. What you'll notice is that this and this will be minus a plus a which will disappear and this will be 0 times b which will disappear so you will be left with just minus 2 times 0 0.15 which is going to give you minus 0 0.3 and plus you're going to have 3, three times um, 0 0.4 which is um, 1.2 so you have 1.2 minus 0 0.3 which is 0 0.9 so there's your expected value of x is 0 0.9. Okay, that's part A. Part B says find the value of A and the value of B given that the expected value of x squared equals 4.54. So, well, I'll, I think I'll need some space down here now. So for part B, um, the expected value of x squared. So I'm just going to write down here x squared first. This is going to give me 4 and 1 and 0 and 1 and 9. Okay, so the expected value of x squared will be 4 times 0 0.15 plus, and you've got 1 times a plus 0 times b plus 1 times a and plus 9 times 0 0.4 and we know that that's equal to 4.54 okay 4.54 so again now this b term will disappear and we're left with 2a plus 4 times 0 0.15 i think that's 0 0.6 and we got 9 times 0 0.4 which is 3.6 and that's equal to 4.54 so you can find what the value of a is now so we have 2a plus 4.2 equals 4.54 okay so then 2a 2a is then equal to 4.54 minus 4.2 which will leave you with 0 0.2a equals 0. 3, 4. and therefore a is going to be 0 0.34 divided by 2 which is 0 0.17 okay so now we have done a part of the question we found a so that's 0 0.17 and 0 0.17 over here as well and to find b we know that the, the expected probabilities should all add up to 1 so b is 1 minus the sum of all of these so b must be okay b is going to be 1 minus you've got 2 times 0 0.17 that's the two a's there and you've got to add to that the other two which was 0 0.15 and 0 0.4 0 0.15 and 0 0.4 okay so b it will equal 1 minus 0 0.34 0 0.34 0 0.74 
0 0.85 let's just confirm that we have 0 0.17 times 2 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.89 okay 0 0.89 so you got one minus that which gives you 0 0.11 okay one zero point eight nine. so that's 0 0.89 I don't need that bracket well oh, let me just call it that let me just one minus 0 0.89 which is equal to 0 0.11 so that's the value of b and that's the value of a so a just write it clearly for the examiner to see your answers a is 0 0.17 and b is 0 0.11 and there we have the answer to part b then it says the random variable y is equal to 3 minus 2x find the variance of y now i know that the variance of um, x first let's find the variance of x first because we know they're related to each other the variance of x is the mean of the squares mean of the squares minus the square of the mean now the mean of the squares is e x squared that's the mean of the squares and the square of the mean is e x all squared okay so we already know what e of x squared is because they told us it's 4.54 so you have 4.54 minus and the mean was i think 0 0.9 the mean was 0 0.9 yes it was minus 0 0.9 squared and that will give us the variance okay that's the variance of x so we can say 4.54 minus 0 0.9 squared will give us 3.73 3.73 is the variance of x so we can say the variance of x is equal to 3.73 now they've told us that x y is equal to 3 minus 2x so we know that y is equal to 3 minus 2x so i can say therefore if they're both the same that the variance of y is equal to the variance of 3 oops of 3 minus 2x because y and 3 minus 2x are the same thing they're equal to each other okay and if you remember from what we learned in terms of uh, variance okay the coding on variance if you have 3 minus 2x okay addition adding something to the values adding something to the x values does not change it's the space between them variance is a measure of how spread out the data is okay so if you add um, an, an amount to every single item you don't change the spread of the data so this has no effect on the variance but multiplying each value by a certain number does change how spread out the data piece the, the data um, entries are from each other whoops so what we have to be careful of here is we have to deal with this minus 2. The 3 doesn't affect the coding, but the minus 2 do, does. So we can say that the variance of 3 minus 2x is equal to, all right, you don't, you don't have to add anything to it, but you have to multiply by the square of minus 2. So it's equal to minus 2 squared. So the number that's multiplying, you square it times the variance of x so it's going to be basically four times oops it's going to be basically four times our answer four times our variance of x so four times what's the variance of x 3.73 four times 3.73 four times 3.73 and that will give us our answer so we take this answer and multiply by 4. That's going to be 14.92. And there's your answer for the last part of the question. 
Okay, so there we have it. That's the answer to this whole question number two. I hope that was clear.